Hi, my lovely people. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, I am going to be trying to drop all day today. I'm going to be the content queen today, y'all. We're going to hit them back to back to back to back to back so that we can be ready tomorrow to go live and speak about all these back to back drops. Let's get into this one. All right. Hello, Rocket. He wants to say hi. For all my new subs who do not know who Rocket is, that would be the Pomeranian that I own, the mascot of the Storm Chasers. That's who he is. All right, let's talk about Olivia. Girlfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend. I don't know how y'all did it. Last night, I don't know how y'all did it. I tried to watch Olivia flopping around in that bed like the depressed, lonely, bitter, no baby mama having girl that she is. And I'm telling you, I don't know how many... How many times has she got to go live to talk about people hating on her? How many times? Or about a baby name and this girl, we don't care. Olivia, let me tell y'all something. Y'all got to pardon me. Because see, your girl done got a little heated with Olivia because of the fact that Olivia is so narcissistic and thinks that she is the bee's knees. So I'm gonna have to give her a little mini read. So pardon me with the things that I say, because guess what? Hey, it is what it is. Let me just say this really quick. I am a biracial woman myself. I don't think that my skin color gets me anywhere. Olivia thinks that her colored eyes and her skin color is going to get her exactly what she wanted. She was wrong when she thought that anyways, but she was super wrong when she went to court thinking she could bet those uh huh, blue eyes and get ahead. Uh -uh. Gerard came in there swinging with a one-two punch, hit you upside your head. That judge didn't give a damn what she was talking about. He seen right through you. He seen your um, terrible men choices. He's seen your terrible swimsuit uploads and he's seen your terrible fake tears and baby line. Uh-huh. Did I say it? Yep. For the bitches in the back. Olivia, we don't care if you cut your hair, trim your hair, shove your hair right up the crack of your behind because at the end of the day, it is dead. It is dry and it does not have any bounce or boogie to it, honey. Don't let me get on here and show you some healthy uh-huh, biracial hair, my love. Uh-huh, something that will curl up with just water. Oh, anywho, don't let me get that messy, all right? Well, she sat there and kept talking about, oh, everybody is hating on me. Everybody that hates on me, they have to be miserable. They have to have stuff going on in your, their real life. They can't be living their best life. They just have to be miserable. They're screen recording my content off Instagram, off YouTube. Girl, I don't, so I mean, uh, to each their own, but I don't. Uh-huh. So I can give you this good read. See, because I don't. But anywho, Olivia, what are we to be jealous of? We react on you because you're a train wreck. And I'm tired of saying this because reactors, just because you react and talk about the foolery that you see with your own two eyes don't make you uh, unhappy. It doesn't. Does that mean that someone is unhappy? No, I am very happy in my life. I'm at peace in my life. I put my life out here, hunty. The fact of the matter is, Olivia, what are we jealous of? Uh-huh. You know curl hair? You know baby having skills? The fact that you lost your children, the fact that you lost your apartment, the fact that you lost your mind, the fact of what? Honey, a sub count don't got nothing to do with how miserable your life is right now. You are sitting over there living with your sister, being a nanny to her baby, trying to keep up with a reborn doll, trying to fucking get a man. You ain't got no nothing. You ain't got no man. You ain't got no baby daddy. I mean, you got a truck that looks like it's about to fall apart. And just because you're putting lights in it and glitters and glams does not mean that it's doing something that we want to see. I mean, come on. You tell my people might be just jealous because my channel is where it's supposed to be. Girl, what is you doing with your brand? Huh? What are you doing with your money? You couldn't even afford a lawyer to fight for your children. You claim you lost your children over $400. Honey, honey, I would sell everything in my house. I'd be TV-less, rugless, couchless, computerless, laptopless, $400. You couldn't, oh, because you know you's a bad bitch. You couldn't walk into a place and take out a payday loan on your YouTube check or something. I mean, come on. Was your credit not good? Do you not have a credit union or a bank or something? $400. You lost your kids over $400 when you had a GoFundMe and Cash Apps. Girl, get up out of here. You lost your kids because you're a bitter, no having baby mama. Nobody is jealous of you, Olivia. We watched the drain wreck. That'd be like us saying, oh, we all jealous of Jasmine. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. 
we jealous of Jasmine too because we watch her and we watch her crash and burn like bombs over Baghdad or the fact that she does not feed her children. Girl, you might want to exit the mommy sector because it ain't proven that you have no children at this point. So really, you might want to rebrand yourself and just going over to the beauty makeup sector or something. Because at the end of the day, honey, you ain't got no kids. But since you want to get messy and say we be hating, I got a question. Y'all, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to get messy right along with Olivia. Can you explain this one? Can somebody explain this? Because y'all know I don't really care about nobody. But can somebody explain this? Can somebody explain why this baby got two different hair colors and two different hair textures? Uh-huh. Is that because the one over here that has the brown hair is a reborn doll? Is that why you don't have to put your hand on the back of the baby at all? You danced around. Look what I made. Look what I made. Look what I made. The baby didn't move not one beat. You didn't protect his head. You didn't protect his back. And at this point, we know a baby at that age will be flipping and flopping all around town. Also, why is the hair sticking up in this picture that you had? As dark as coal, honey. And long. And this baby over here look like it got a little alpecia, a little baby alpecia. And then every time we see it up close, the, we see it more scalped than we are here. So see, now if we want to get messy, let's get to asking some questions about that. Is it because the baby that was moving around in the camera with the dark hair was actually Raquel's baby? Uh-huh, the same baby that's about to have a sunburn from a blanket. I ain't never seen no baby be wrapped up in no blanket as much in the Florida heat in the Texas heat and everything else. Baby gonna have a suntan from the blanket. Oh, baby blanket. That's the baby's name, baby blanket. But uh, somebody, somebody, we ain't, we ain't peeping this. We ain't peeping this, y'all. Somebody in the back got to tell me something. What's going on with this? Raquel, your living nanny is doing an awful job, honey. She's exploiting your child, uh-huh. She's making you look like a fool, making her look like a fool. Instead of sitting there cutting your sister's hair, maybe you need to cut ties with this psychotic heifer. Let me just use that word because y'all, a whole bunch of other stuff is going to come out. Raquel, you might want to cut ties with this psychotic, bitter, sour patch kid of a woman. Y'all, it's a lot of questions out here on these streets. But can somebody, I, I just want to answer that. What's going on with this baby hair? Did y'all dye it? Huh? Did y'all give us some stiff pills? What, what did y'all do? Because we seen when Olivia had a real baby in the blanket and it was bopping around. She's about to give a whiplash and this, that. And then she had this baby that was whining that's got dark black, cold, jet black hair. Then you got this baby. Uh-huh. That baby you got in your arms over there, that's a reborn doll. See, maybe that's why you lost your apartment because them dolls be costing lots of money. Maybe you just had to keep up with the storyline, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. But since she wanted to call us fools, and make us like we on some foolery. Huh, sometimes you got to ask a bad bitch a question that she can't answer. Y'all, I'll see y'all in the comments. I love y'all.